I'm a firm believer, Skip, you're worth what someone's willing to pay. I'm putting this tent, as soon as the show goes off, I'm putting this pen up, this Mont Blanc, mm. $2 million. Mm. Is it worth that? Somebody pays it, so. it is. Yeah. Skip. It's Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's wow. a pretty good pet. Mm. With that kind of salary, <laughs> only one thing matters. Getting Derek Carr an MVP, being number one, number two in offense, winning the division titles is unacceptable. Anything less hmm. than Roger Goodell handing Mark Davis a Lombardi okay. trophy is failure. Okay. Absolute failure. Hmm. When you paid this, Skip, you, were, you had a front row seat. Yep. When the San Francisco 49ers signed Deion Sanders in free agency, they signed it for one reason. We need you to shut down Michael Irvin so we can beat the Cowboys and go to the Super Bowl. And? And that's what happened. And? and then the next year, and? they say, we need you to shut down Jerry Rice mm -hmm. so we can beat them mm -hmm. and go back to the Super Bowl. Right. That's how you got to do it. You got to deliver. When Kevin Durant signed with Golden State, mm. he has to deliver Larry O'Brien trophy. Mm -hmm. Skip, the, my concerns is, is that Coach Gruden hasn't coached in 10 years. Yep. And a lot of things have changed. But he has stayed close to the game. He stayed, Skip. Mm -hmm. Break, watching game tape so you can talk about why two banana or a team is playing cover three, playing lurk, robber, yep. or six kick. That's one thing. You're off an analysis for people that don't, they're not in depth. That's not building a game plan. No, but he has spent through his Gruden, what do they call it, QB school. Yeah. So yeah. he knows all the top quarterback prospects. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I get all that. Yeah. I, get, I get all that. He ain't looking at no quarterback prospects. He got Derek Carr. They just, <laughs> he, got, he got two more years at least of Derek Carr. He, so, he hopes he has Derek Carr. I mean, he hopes he's going to be that guy. We've seen some – Joe Gibbs won three Super Bowls. Yep. When he came back the second time around, Skip, mm -hmm. he wasn't the same guy. No, he wasn't. Dick Vermeil went 9-23 in his first two seasons before Kurt Warner fell into his lap, before they traded for Marshall Falk, before they got Orlando Pace. Now, those three guys are in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. They got two receivers that's on the ballot with Torrey Holt and Isaac Bruce. So, I hope John Gruden likes that. Mm. Skip, you remember Mike Dicker? Do I? 15 and 33 in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Now, Pete Carroll had success, but Pete Carroll didn't stop coaching. He went to college. Yep. But he had more success the second time around than he did the first time around. Mm -hmm. Skip, it's a different game. See, when Coach Gruden left, the guys were about football. Mm -hmm. Guys are about building a brand now. A lot of these guys, what I want to see most, because when you hear him on television, Skip, I would love to coach this guy. Oh, that's the guy. If I had a team right now, I'd take Johnny Manziel number one, and I wouldn't look back. Well, he, he said he, he was going to. <laughs> yeah! To. Guess yeah. what? Now, he's going to go to the Raiders. Now, the Raiders have heard him say, I'm going to see. He loves all. Oh, he loves Beast Mode. He loves Marshawn Lynch. He's a battle. He's a tough guy. Let's see, what, see if Marshawn's on the team next year. Because, see, all that stuff that he was talking, that sounded, that, that's well and good, Skip. Mm -hmm. That's not coaching. He's offering an analysis of people that doesn't have the football augment that he's going to. They know everything. That what John Gruden's talking about, when he steps into that room, those players have heard all that. They know what defenses are. Hmm. They know what a bunch set is. They know what, what they're trying to do. So you're not going to impress them. What impresses them is that we go, we, we pack up for, for a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we, we, we go to some warm weather city. We go to a dome in late January. Hmm. That's what's going to impress okay. them. So, is your conclusion that Oakland way overpaid for John Gruden? No, Skip. This doesn't count against the cap. So, you can pay $15 million if correct. you wanted to. So, you can, and he can surround himself with a bunch of $2 and $3 million assistants mm -hmm. if he wants to. They have to do this, Skip. They're getting ready to go to Vegas. You go to Vegas, you go to a new city, Skip. You got to win because you're already up against it because you're going somewhere where the fans are not already already there. Mm -hmm. In Oakland and L.A., okay, they know, they know you. Yep. You're going to Vegas. Mm. <laughs> so you better win 5-11, and 6-10, 7-9. ain't going to cut it. Ain't nobody coming. I get it. Ooh, NFL. We got NFL football in Vegas. You better win. You think he is? <sighs> I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. I like Coach. My brother, he was my brother's position coach mm -hmm. in Green Bay. My brother swears by it. Mm -hmm. I don't right. believe he will, Skip. Mm. I don't believe. I believe the game is so different now than it was when he left. 
that he's going to have a, tr a tough time. Nine years uh, ago was the last time we saw him on the sideline. Mm -hmm. I mean, nine years. That's a long time, Skip. I believe John Gruden is about to win a Super Bowl for the Oakland Raiders. Wow. I believe he'll be worth every penny. I think you'll look back at $10 million and if, in fact, it's true, some ownership stake as cookie jar money, as pennies paid for a coach. Because if, if he can do what I think he can for this team, then – who it could be twenty million? Yeah. That, that when that if if an owner right now could be guaranteed this coach will win you a Super Bowl, let's say within three years, wouldn't you pay him twenty million? Yeah, Cincinnati wouldn't. But, no, but but, but a, a lot, lot of, of but work. Jerry absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Craig, well, Mr. Kraft probably playing close to that now because yeah. it's hard to believe for me to believe that somebody when Coach Belichick is the head coach and the general manager, he's only making sense. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. Of course you would, Skip mm -hmm. Bayless. Think about Peyton Manning, what they gave him. His job was to get to. Now, he won the Super Bowl in his fourth year, but that almost $100 million was money well spent mm -hmm. because the stadium was always sold out. The, uh, uh, the, the memorabilia and uh, uh, paraphernalia flew off the shelves. Yep. So it was worth the $100 million that they paid Peyton Manning over those four years. Mm. You can play John Gruden, he gets you to a Super Bowl and win it. Oh, yeah, that's... Mm. Chump change. By the way, my paper mate is going to go up for auction after the show for three <laughs> million. I'm going to go. It up ain't up. worth it. Yeah, Get three this. million because Mont Blanc. It's my pin. Mont Blanc. It's a paper mate. And it's going to be worth more because it's mine. But what happens when it runs out of ink? It will pretty quickly. Exactly. See, I got refillable. Oh, I'm going to throw in three refillable okay. for him. You win there. So back to what just happened. <laughs> I believe Tampa, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, used to be Mr. Glazer's team, now owned by the Suns. Suns, correct. Run by the Suns. I believe they just made a huge mistake because I think their team is a little closer to winning a Super Bowl than the Raiders are. And in all my time of being around coaches, and I was around Coach Gruden when he coached the Raiders, and I was around Jimmy Johnson when he coached the Cowboys, those are the two who could create an instant force field unlike any I had ever experienced. It's short term, it's high burnout, it's extreme energy that can turn on you as well as ignite you. But in both cases, the, the, the spark of it, the electricity of it, is unlike anything I ever experienced in any other sport from any other coach. Mm -hmm. And Gruden pulled it off in two places. He pulled it off with the Raiders because they had quite a little three-year run, maybe just you, you, for sure a two-year run because mm -hmm. you saw them face-to-face -face yes. in the AFC Championship right. game in 2000. Mm -hmm. And John Gruden's team ran into what – what just might be the greatest defense ever <laughs> yeah. run by Ray Lewis. Correct. And it was 16 to 3, <laughs> thanks in large part, long touchdown catch where Oakland blew it. The two two wrong routes, right? Runs well, you right. got us backed up. We're on the four yard line. Yeah. It's third and 18. Okay. Why would you blitz? Skip, just play coverage, get off the field, you're gonna punt. Because all we're trying to do is make get a quick throw so yeah. we can give our punter, Kyle Richardson, mm -hmm. the full 13 yards yep. so he could punt the ball. Why would you blitz in that situation? Don't know, but you made him pay. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? So it was 80? 96. I mean, 96 yards. Yeah. yeah. Still okay. longest in playoff history. Yeah. That's the longest play from scrimmage in NFL history in the postseason. You know they've been playing football 98 years in the NFL? Wow. And okay. somebody better not break it either. Okay. So <laughs> it was your fault that John Gruden <laughs> lost that game. And then they turned right around, and in the divisional game the next year, they got tuck ruled in the snow yeah. in Foxborough, 16 to 13 in overtime. That's how close he came twice right. because that team was probably a little better than the New England team that did go on yes. to win the Super Bowl. Again, is John Gruden better than Bill Belichick? Probably not. They had a better chance but in that just, divisional that, game. There's no way, yeah. Skip, unless they got a pick six or a scoop and score, they were going to ever score okay. a touchdown against that defense. So then, obviously, he gets traded after that game in the offseason. Traded. To Tampa, mm -hmm. because Al Davis just couldn't stand him, because they they were they were at each other's throat every other practice after practice. And I witnessed a couple of yeah. them, and they were shocking. They would scream in each other's faces because he's short-term. Yeah. He just he, He's going at it so hard that after a while – he's going to sort of turn on everybody and everything's going to turn back on him. But but early on, the energy from it, the ignition of it, and it worked with a veteran loaded football team yes. that Tony Dungy had taken step mm -hmm. by step and got to a championship game but lost 11-6, to I believe, at St. Louis mm -hmm. in 99. Correct. With Sean King at quarterback. Yeah. And 
th that spark that John brought to a very good football team loaded with some Hall of Famers, yeah. it took it right over the uh, top, and then he was able to go up against the team he knew the best, the Oakland Raiders in the Super Bowl. It was his offense. It was his offense, and he's like <laughs> calling plays, you know, before their, their run, and it was a complete annihilation. So he was doing a Tony Romo? You know, Tony Romo called all the plays before the... No, call, that's, that's true. <laughs> no, Sean Lee. Yeah. Oh, Sean, Sean Lee. Like Sean Lee can call your play before you run. But, uh, but Skip, I mean, think about what what Tampa gave up to get him. They gave up two first-rounders and $8 million. Okay, so? Now, now, think about this. The Patriots gave up a first-rounder for the ability to sign Coach Belichick. People don't realize the Jets gave up a fourth-rounder to get Herm Edwards. So we've right. seen, we've seen, but right. I think, you know what? Mr. Krabs is like, I only had to give up a first rounder to get Coach Belichick, and I got five of these things. That's true. So, it's wh whatever right. they're paying right. Coach Belichick, Skip. Okay. So, you mentioned Mike Ditka. He goes to New Orleans. He doesn't fit in New Orleans. He is the Bears. He, he's born to be the Chicago Bears coach, and it was hard for anybody. He to, even looked like right? the mascot. Like who? The mas The Bears. The Bears. Yeah, yeah that's Coach what I'm Ditka. But in New Orleans, it's mm. like fish out of water. You don't belong. Skip. But John Gruden belonged in Oakland. He nicknamed Chucky off Chucky the, the horror movie play. character, the the pop, the uh, Child, the doll, uh, doll, yeah, Child's play, yeah, and and he looks just like Chucky because he's got that scowl going. He can knit his brow just like Chucky, and so you don't think the black hole loved that? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.